5 Muslim Inventions That Changed the World Number 5 Hygiene Washing and bathing are religious requirements for Muslims, which is perhaps why Muslims perfected the recipe for soap, which we still use today. They combined vegetable oils with sodium hydroxide and aromatics such as thyme oil. Shampoo was also introduced to England by a Muslim who opened a bathhouse on Brighton Seafront in the year 1759. He was also appointed shampooing surgeon to Kings George IV and William IV. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also popularized the use of the first toothbrush. Using a brush-like twig from the miswak tree, it is known to clean the teeth and freshen the breath. Substances similar to the miswak are still used today in modern toothpaste. Number 4. Optics in Photography The ancient Greeks thought our eyes emitted rays, like a laser, which enabled us to see. The first person in history to realize that light enters the eye rather than leaving it was a 10th century Muslim mathematician, astronomer, and physicist Ibn al-Haytham. He invented the first pinhole camera after noticing the way light came through a hole in window shutters. The smaller the hole, the better the picture. He worked out and set up the first camera obscura from the Arabic word qamara for a dark or private room. The Muslim scholar Abu al-Hassan known as al-Hazin from Basra was also the first person to describe how the eye works in detail. He carried out experiments with reflective materials and proved that the eye does not sense the environment with sight rays, as scientists had believed up until then. He also discovered that curved glass surfaces can be used for magnification. His glass reading stones were the first magnifying glasses ever made. It was from these that the glasses were later developed. Number 3. Hospitals and Free Healthcare the first modern hospital with nurses in a training center was in Cairo, in the Ahmed ibn Tolan Hospital, which was established in the year 872. The hospital provided free care for anyone who needed it, a policy based on the Muslim tradition of caring for the sick. Although slightly more basic hospitals had existed prior to this in Baghdad, it was the Tolan Hospital which would later serve as a template for all hospitals around the globe. Soon after the creation of hospitals, around the year 1000, a Muslim doctor known as Al-Zahrawi published a 1,500-page illustrated encyclopedia of surgery that was used in Europe as a medical reference for the next 500 years. Number 2. Education In the year 859, a young princess named Fatma al-Firhi founded the first degree granting university in Fez, Morocco. Her sister Maryam founded an adjacent mosque and together the complex became the Al-Qarawiyyin Mosque and University. Still operating almost 1,200 years later, the center is a reminder to people that learning is at the core of the Islamic tradition. Number 1. Algebra While many people may not particularly appreciate the importance of algebra, it is one of the most important contributions of the Muslim golden age to the modern world. It was developed by the great scientist and mathematician Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khawarizmi, who lived from the year 780 to 850. In his book, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, he set forth the basic principles of algebraic equations. The name of the book itself contains the word al-jabr, meaning completion, from which the Latin word algebra is derived. In the book, Al-Khawarizmi explains how to use algebraic equations with unknown variables to solve real-world problems such as zakat calculation and inheritance division. A unique aspect of his reasoning for developing algebra is the desire to make calculations mandated by Islamic law easier to complete in a world without calculators and computers. Al-Khawarizmi's books were translated into Latin in Europe in the 1000s and 1100s, where he was known as the Algorithmi. The word algorithm is based on his name and his mathematical works. Without his work in developing algebra, modern practical applications of math, such as engineering, would not be possible. His works were used as math textbooks in European universities for hundreds of years after his death. Thank you for watching our top 5 video. Please remember to like and share this video and check out our previous video on the top 5 misconceptions about Islam.